Hi everyone, welcome to the Heart Project. This is a project as a fundraiser for Relay for Life, Cancer Research, and it's Art for the Heart. So we're making a multiple series of hearts that we can put together and sell as a fundraiser for our team, Art for the Heart. So the, the hearts are all 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. And on another video, I showed you how to draw a nice shaped heart. So here I have my heart. One of the easy options is actually to do um, a little bit of paper and glue and create another surface. So let me show you an example. So here's an example of a piece I've done with uh, a background of newspaper. It's a little bit of fun and it's quite an easy way to fill in the background. I tore up little bits of paper beforehand and glued them on using a wood glue. And the important bit being to keep to the outline shape of the heart. I painted the background a dark colour because a dark colour makes your heart stand out better. So all I used, I'll show you a sample here, was little bits of newspaper. I have a wood glue and I used a Q-tip, which is quite handy for putting the glue on, or a paintbrush. Either of those two works. You put the glue on and you pre-cut your little pieces. I literally tear them. I tear them like this, so you use some little pieces like this, and I start around the edge of the heart. So I put a good bit on. Why we use a waterproof glue is that it means that the pieces don't come off, and when we then go over it with paint, it means that they're water permanent. So I actually take a little bit of the glue and I put it on the surface of the paper because the glue will dry completely clear. And you see here, I'm going around the side of the heart and gently keeping within the framework. I, oh, I don't want to lose the outline of the heart. So you keep going the whole way around. You can also use a uh, piano or music script paper, which is actually lovely to see the notes and you can kind of almost put a tune on it if you, if you glue it in a certain way. You can use magazines you can use different colours. You could do one that's all shades of blue or all shades of red or like a rainbow mixture, um, selectively choosing your colours. So you can do anything you want. And it's actually quite fun and quite relaxing. Um, here you see I'm just adding the pieces and I'm adding a little bit of glue on the surface because that makes it permanent. And I'm overlapping so you have no gaps. You don't want to see the underneath at all. You don't want to see the underneath of the board and coming down to the point. So using tiny little tear pieces like this to go around the point of the heart. See down there? So it's quite fun, actually. This is really fun. I'm taking a little bit of glue and I'm going over the surface there. I'm taking a little bit of paper and I'm adding the paper there. So you keep building that up until it's completely covered and then you let it dry. It takes probably about half an hour or 40 minutes to dry. And when it's dried and you have your piece like this, you can then draw on an image. So I've drawn like a little butterfly and a flower. If you actually Google images on black and white on newspaper, you get a lot of ideas of what you could come up with. You could do a silhouette of a tree or you could do a bird. There's lots of simple forms. You could trace them and trace them onto the surface if you're not able to draw it. Uh, so I have my little butterfly. I have a limited range of colours here and a little bit of water. So you could use watercolour on it or you can use acrylic. I'm actually using acrylic, but I'm using it quite light. And I'm just going to tint in a few little colours into my... Sorry, it's a dragonfly rather than a butterfly. I've done another one as a butterfly, but this is a little dragonfly. It doesn't have to be realistic. You can be as fun with the colours as you want. Um, what's quite nice is if you can actually see the letters are still coming through. Um, I'm adding the little pieces here. So it's kind of, um, it's a very relaxing way to do your heart. It doesn't involve loads of painting and... Um, doing something that's completely realistic. It can be slightly abstract. You can be as abstract or you can be as realistic as you want. I'm adding a little bit of white to the yellow, just a different tone value here. I have a little bit of turquoise. I'm going to give a turquoise body. 
So it's not realistic. It's actually just a little bit of imagination. Um, I'm just doing a bright orange there. And then what I might do is take a little bit of white and add a touch of white on top. So I'm actually making the paint a little bit thicker. I'm going to take a little bit of white around this one. It's a little bit thicker. So, so it's actually playing with it. And what's quite fun is if you do a couple, two or three of them, and then when they're dry, you can play across them and do two or three at once. Um, I'm going to give the little flower a little middle, bright middle, and I'm actually going to give her yellow petals. So that's my little flower piece here. And then I might actually come back up to the top of the head. I'm going to give a strong turquoise base here. And I might just give a little flower, a little turquoise there. And I might just come up to the very top and I might just add a little sun just at the top of the heart. So I'm, kind of, I'm going to take the sun here and I'll bring it round here. And when all this is dry, I will go round um, the pieces with a little bit of black and a little bit of detail and add more detail into it. Um, I might even just take a little bit of colour like the orange and add a little orange flower in the corner. So I'm taking a bright orange centre and taking a little bit of my yellow and just doing a little flower into the dark. Keeping it really simple, going back into the orange. And then what I might do at the bottom is do a yellow centre here and put the orange on the outside. And again, when this is dry, I'll go over all of this and bring it up a little bit stronger. I might take a little bit of white and add a little bit of white to the, the centre as a little highlight. And then what we are hoping to do is I have a little metal piece here to symbolise it, but we are going to put um, the name of the person that the, the, the heart is dedicated to. So that name of the person will go somewhere on the heart if you go there or if you go to the side. But that's why we keep the silhouette simple. We might leave one corner. You can still decorate it and we'll glue it on top. But we will be putting the name of the person who the piece is ded dedicated to in one of the corners. So I will wait till this dries a little bit and then I will take um, a little bit of gold onto it and I will show you the finished piece up on the page when it's finished. So it's just a little bit of fun. Enjoy, have fun making your heart.